Hello, this is to go through the latest update of the plating up, uh, generator. It's a big update uh, which uh, introduces greebles to uh, the effect, uh, which gives you uh, a lot more options for creating, uh, quickly creating more detailed effects. Um, uh, here, I thought I'd go through the options rather dryly, but then I thought, no, I'm going to show you how to do, say, like a Death Star trench using uh, the plating generator, generator in Greebles. So I'm just subdividing up a basic trench shape at the moment, um, just adding a few faces to it. And I'll also just change the viewport so that you can see uh, more clearly using ambient occlusion. Uh, and then uh, let's get to it. So now the plating generator uh, has a few options. Uh, you can create plates as you used to before as an operator on its own, or you can create uh, greebles on its own, or if you opt uh, for uh, the combined option, uh, you'll get them in one operator. So this is what I'm showing you now. Um, I've also rearranged the uh, menus quite a bit so that they're all um, drop down menus so that you can see that. So here I've um, added some basic plates here um, uh, and I first thing I've done is I've varied the heights of the plates so that the heights now change can change randomly um, and this gives you sort of that first level of detail um, to uh, here uh, your trench. Um, I'm also here now. I'm, I'm, I'm for this effect. I'm um, adding quite a lot of width to the dis uh, the distances between the plates uh, to add uh, uh, an extra level of detail. And here you can see it's starting to take shape. Um, it's uh, it, but it needs that extra sort of greeble type effect. All these little details added uh, to it to uh, really. Uh, show it off. So this is uh, this is where we are with Greeble. So with this option, with this operator, you can choose to add it to the tops of the plates, or the sides of the plates, or the grooves. And I've checked all the checked all the check boxes there. Um, you can also adjust things like the width and size of the Greebles that are produced, uh, which I'm doing there right now. Um, and there's not many created there, so I've ramped it up to 500 now. So you can see there, it starts to look a little bit more like um, uh, the Death Star uh, trench from Star Wars. Uh, um, here you can see that I've got various default shapes selected um, uh, just to create this effect that are bundled with the Greebles generator. But you can also add your own custom Greeble objects, and I'll show you that in a moment. So here as well, you can see me just changing the random seed to get a good, uh, a good effect. You can get all sorts of different effects there. I'll also just add an array modifier uh, to uh, to the trench I've created, just to create a really long uh, trench there. So you can see it repeating a bit. And I think if I had more time, I'd I'd um, I'd uh, add a longer trench and just add the greebles on top of that. You can do things like scale it out a bit more so that it gives that little bit more depth to it. Uh, and there you go. So I've just shown you in more detail how to add your own custom uh, Greeble objects. Uh, so here I've got the uh, uh, I've got an example of the trench I've just created. I'm just using my shape generator to uh, add a few very basic shapes. You can make them as complicated as you like these shapes, but uh, for this purpose, uh, I'm just going to uh, randomly create uh, uh, a few um, uh, very basic shapes here, uh, just to show you the idea. I've also created um, that circular tube there as well, just to clearly show you the um, the operator at work. Uh, so here it is. I've just created um, recreated uh, what I did earlier. Um, and now, uh, under custom Greeble objects, uh, when you use the operator, uh, you'll be able to select um, uh, from the drop down uh, the objects in your scene uh, to be mapped on as Greebles. Um, and they are all aligned on the faces 
in the direction uh, that the shapes are pointing upwards. Um, it's a bit hard to describe, but basically they're aligned on the surface in line with uh, where they're aligned in the scene. Um, I hope you can see what I mean here if you zoom in. Um, and uh, that's uh, and and that's the basic effect. So hopefully that will give you a lot of power, and enjoy.